<clears throat> Good day, everyone. Today, we'll be going to tackle about inquiry versus research. As you all know, research is not something that you can achieve or learn just by looking and asking. Research undergoes certain process such as systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. But for this to accomplish, we need first to understand what is the nature of research. Okay. One goal of education is knowledge acquisition. However, education is not just stacking your brain with knowledge. It also encourages you to use acquired knowledge for a deeper understanding of the world. So, acquired knowledge or knowledge obtained from resources which are external to an organization and can be hired or purchased. Example of this is something that you are not, not familiar with, like how to bake cake. And ang una-una mong gagawin is maghanap ng resources which is needed on baking cake or else you will find or enroll to some courses of cake and pastry baking which you can find experts of the said topic. And it's one way of acquiring knowledge or information that you are not well versed off. Okay, in addition, knowledge is the basis of everything in existence. Without knowledge, nothing would exist as we perceive it to be. It is imperative and indispensable. Knowledge is the building blocks of any foundation. Knowledge is the key to opening doors that would otherwise be luck. Commodities are only sought after due to knowledge and awareness. So here are the 10 methods to acquire effective knowledge. And these are research meticulously, read books, operate consciously, develop good habits, harness productivity, set obtainable goals, encourage others, believe in yourself, embrace pain, learn from your mistakes. So uh, thinking in this manner makes you ask open-ended questions to elicit views, opinions, and beliefs of others in relation to your research. So we need to infuse ourselves with a variety of questions para malaman natin ang katotohanan and opinions, views ng iba in relation in relation sa inyong research or research topic. Kasi may iba na out of the topic and ang questions and it takes time and you need to consider the fact that you don't own the time of your respondents or the people that you interviewed. Okay. Next is the char characters of research. So research is a scientific, experimental, or inductive manner or thinking. And it's also starting from particular or more complex ideas. You execute varied thinking strategies reflected by these research activities. And also, the data you work on in research do not come mainly from yourself, but also from other sources of knowledge like people, books, and artworks, among others. I know that you understand this part, for you have encountered this with your practical one. To remind you, there is a law regarding with the acknowledgement of the author or the owner of the book, artworks, or the research. We call it legal ramification of plagiarism. I'll repeat, legal ramification of plagiarism. Although plagiarism is not a criminal or civil offense, plagiarism is illegal if it infringes an author's intellectual property rights, including copyright or trademark. For example, the owner of a copyright can sue a plagiarizer 
in federal court for copyright violation. So to remind you, every part of the books or te text that you have copy, kailangan nakalagay ang author nito sa inyong reference or you can put it after the paragraph as a acknowledgement. And hence, one cardinal principle in research is to give acknowledgement to owners of all sources of knowledge involved in your research work. And in connection with this, speaking of cardinal principle, there are five main principles in research, and these are truthfulness and confidentiality, and autonomy and informed consent, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice. Okay, that's are the five main principles in research. Next, we have methods of research. To be a researcher is to be a scientist who must think logically or systematically. Research activities must follow a certain order. Doing inductive thinking that makes you ponder on specific ideas. Move to more complex concepts like conclusions or generalizations, or do the opposite of inductive thinking, which is deductive thinking. To add more information about this topic, we have we have this research method to follow in order to become a true researcher and scientist. Well, it depends on what type of research you will pursue on your future endeavor. May it be experimental or non-experimental. These are observation or participant observation, service, interviews, focus groups, experiments, secondary data analysis, and mix method. Okay, about this, we will tackle further more about this for our future lessons or in our next lessons. And two, depending on your topic and purpose, you are free to choose from several approaches, methods, and types of research you learn in your previous research subject. Okay, next. So, inquiry vis-a-vis -vis research. One, one scholarly activity that significantly involves inquiry is research. Research makes you learn something by means of problem-solving technique. Both inquiry and research encourage you to formulate questions to direct you the exact information you want to discover about the object of your curiosity. Okay, and although the core word for both inquiry and research is investigation or questioning, they are not exactly the same in all aspects because research includes more complex acts of investigation. Research follows a scientific procedure of discovering truths or meaning as mentioned above. Okay, so uh, kasi ang investigation is more on uh, like asking, like for example, you want to ask if somebody in your classmates is smoking and the, the ans, uh, it, it can be answerable by yes or no. While if you will undergo a research, you will follow a certain order or scientific order which your topic is about what is the negative effect of smoking to your classmate, negative impact to your classmate. So, in order to accomplish that research, you need to follow a certain systematical order or scientific procedure. Okay? To add information, vis-a-vis -vis is a fancy way of saying in regards to or compared to, as in, like... Uh, you are comparing something you have achieved to another person. Okay? Okay, that's all. Thank you for listening. Hope and praying will surpass this crisis. Kodos and DMC.